So interesting. Researchers have designed a tool to indicate burnout. Right. So, I mean, it, it happens to a lot of us, right? You feel like you've hit a wall at work and you just no. can't do any more. It's incredibly common. It's become more common with the pandemic. In fact, yeah. more than half of healthcare workers have reported burnout in the past year. And it really can have long-term consequences, like an increased risk of heart disease, joint pain, insomnia, and depression, to name a few. But if you can identify the early warning signs, you can intervene before the harmful effects take hold. So researchers in Norway have designed a tool that measures four main groups of risk factors, including exhaustion, mental distance, distancing, excuse me, and both cognitive and emotional impairment. For example, they ask questions like, do you feel mentally exhausted at work? Do you struggle to feel enthusiastic about your job? And do you sometimes overreact at work when you actually didn't mean to, which I think a lot of us have done. Uh, sadly, I think that is probably true. So here's a question. You, you take this quiz, you see those signs. Is there anything that you can do to reduce burnout? Sure. I mean, self-care is actually really important. So try to make time for exercise and sleep. You could try meditation. Journaling helps some people. And certainly do activities that you really enjoy doing. Now, you can also try to change your mindset and focus on the positive things on your job rather than the negatives. And of course, do what I do, which is share your frustrations with your friends and family so you can get stuff <laughs> off your chest. And then don't be afraid to speak up, either to your boss or to your coworkers. Tell them how you're feeling and ask them for help. Reframe, vent, and communicate. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. Thank well you, Doctor. Done.